great but we want it at less than Blessings, blessings, everybody. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. Good morning. However you want to move, move. However you want to speak, speak. Whatever you want to do, do. Come like the wind. Come like the rain. Oh, yeah. Leaves me wanting 
Jesus Christ. Tell the Lord Jesus. Good morning, Jesus. I want you to acknowledge him first before you say good morning to anybody else. Start your morning by talking to Jesus. Tell him good morning. Welcome Holy Spirit. Come on somebody. Tell him welcome Holy Spirit. Welcome in my home. Welcome on my job. Welcome in my car. Wherever you are. Then tell somebody good morning. Triumph. Uh, and Overcomer. Higgins. Good morning. Ivelyn Carr. Good morning. Sister Natasha. Good morning. Pastor Bryce. Good morning. Can you tell somebody good morning and tell them happy Friday? Happy Friday, everybody. It's Friday. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Welcome, everybody. Please share. Thank you so much. Please share the live. I'll wait for you to come. Oh my God, when I'm with you, it always leaves me wanting more. So here's our prayer, you can dwell with it. Come again. Come on, tell somebody good morning. <laughs> Please take a moment before we start worshiping. And share the light. Come like the rain. Come like the fire. We're ready. We're ready. Anybody ready for a move of God this morning? Tell the Lord. Come like the wind. Come like the rain. Come like the fire. We're ready. We're ready. If you want Jesus to come, would you lift your voice? Hey, let's say, say, come like the wind. Come like the wind. Come like the rain. Praise the Lord. Please, everybody, come on in. Please share. Please share. Help me get this prayer. Help me get this life out there. Please share. Sister Vivine Sims, good morning, woman. God, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Carla Hector Price. Bless you. Good morning. Oh my God. <laughs> good morning, Pastor Lynch. Good to see you on this morning. The Lord bless you. God bless you. Uh, Carla White Clark. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. Are you guys awake? Come on in. It's Friday. It's Friday. I don't know about you, but I'm happy that it's Friday. Praise God. Please share, everybody. Thank you so much. 
I'm coming down with a little cold. So I'm going to try to make it through the light this morning. Just a cold. That's it. <laughs> Natasha, Henry, good morning. Good morning, Sister Marsha. Here's our praise. You can dwell I love you with all. Good morning. This is our prayer. Come again. We want you to now come again. Oh, I'll wait for you to come. Thank you, Jesus. y'all up a little bit it's before us we worship Woo. so we can pray yes lord we gotta pray we gotta pray we gotta pray we gotta pray so
Praise the Lord, everybody. I think everybody's awake now. I needed that. I think you needed that. All right? So I did that for us. Now we're going to worship God. All right? I think everybody is wide awake. I told y'all it's Friday. I know it's been a long week. Amen. Praise God. So that was for us. Amen. So now we're going to worship God, even though it's still Friday. We're going to give God glory. I see some hands clapping, some dancing. So I believe everybody is wide awake. Amen. So we're going to worship God. I need somebody to release a hallelujah. I need somebody to release a thank you, Jesus. I need somebody to release praise. I need somebody to worship God.
Come on, somebody lift up the name of Jesus. There is nothing, hallelujah, that is too hard for him to do. As you praise him, as you worship him, something is changing. Something is breaking. The atmosphere is shifting. Come on, release that praise. Release that worship. Somebody release your worship. Let somebody that is grateful this morning. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, we thank you. Jesus, I feel the presence of the Lord. Can somebody worship him? Can somebody worship him? Can somebody worship him? Can somebody worship him? Tongues of hearts, so can somebody worship him? We're gonna pray, but can somebody worship him? Father, we honor you, God. Father, we honor you, God. There is no God like you. You fight our battles. You fight our battles. I need somebody in the prayer room this morning not to hold back on your worship, not to hold back on your praise. As we are getting ready, Elo Shanda. Hallelujah. Nadaba Shaya. Holy Ghost, Saya. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. God Almighty, somebody give him glory. Somebody, in spite of what it is this morning, in spite of how you feel this morning, in spite of what you're going through this morning, I need you to open up your mouth, lift up your hands in that room. Hey God, if you're driving to work this morning, come on Zion, lift up your hand, open up your mouth and release I thank you, Jesus. Release, oh God Almighty. Release hallelujah this morning. Release glory unto him. Release praise unto him. Let the worshipers, hallelujah. For the Bible said he seeketh those. Lava Hosha Talabahaya. The Bible said he seeketh those this morning that will worship him in spirit and in truth. I need the worshipers. Before we pray, before we put our prayer requests in, before we let our petition out, before we let our request be made known, amen, somebody need to lift up the name of Jesus this morning. Somebody need to glorify the King of Kings. Come on, I'm pulling on you. Yes, come on. Somebody need to worship him. Somebody need to give him adoration. Somebody need to receive it. Have a higher. Hallelujah. Praise God. Open up your mouth, people of God. Lift up your hands, Zion. And give God a praise where you are. Let heaven hear you. Let heart hear you this morning. Hallelujah. And no matter what the enemy is doing, come on, open up your mouth. And give God glory. Open up your mouth and give God praise this morning. What do I thank him for? I thank him for life. I thank him for waking me up. I thank him for strength. I thank him for preserving me. I thank him for my children. Come on, somebody thank him. Amen. Praise God that your family is still alive. My God, amen. We give God praise in spite of it all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Zion. Had it not been for the Lord who is on our side, glory to God, we don't know where we would be. Had it not been for Jesus this morning, we wouldn't be here, huh? My God, had it not been for Jehovah Shattaya, 
My God, I already feel the Holy Ghost in this room. Had it not been for Jesus, I know you come to pray. And I'm going to pray. Amen. Praise God. But I just need some people. Amen. On the line. Glory to God. Amen. To wake up. Amen. And to give God glory. Amen. You're starting your day the best way you can ever start it. Amen. By worshiping him. By giving him glory. If you worship him, he's going to come. If you open your mouth and shout hallelujah, he's going to come. If you open your mouth and shout glory, he's going to come. If you open your mouth and tell him welcome Jesus, he's going to come. If you open your mouth, I talk about Shia, and begin to release something unto him, he's going to come Zion. Amen. If you open your mouth, I told Shia, my God, the atmosphere will shift. If you open up your mouth, glory to God, demons got to move. They got to go. If you open your mouth, Jesus, if you release the name of Jesus, if you tell Jesus thank you if you shout hallelujah my God somebody oh God I thank you hallelujah Jesus glory hallelujah my God this morning I rise to give you praise this morning I rise to give you glory this morning I rise to give you honor this morning I rise to give you thanks there is nothing that you can do for God amen to please him but to worship amen there's nothing else you can give unto him my God but your praise so I need you to worship him yes I need you to praise him yes I know some of you may be feeling down but open up your mind Shire hallelujah glory to god hallelujah somebody hell glory to god hallelujah 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 somebody say hallelujah until you feel him somebody say glory until you feel him somebody worship him until you feel him somebody give him glory somebody give him honor oh god we worship you oh god we praise you oh god we thank you can somebody release the name of jesus over this line can somebody release her uh, oh glory to god the name of jesus over this atmosphere have your way god have your way jesus uh, have your way jesus uh, have your way god hallelujah have your way jesus hallelujah have your way jesus hallelujah have your way jesus hallelujah we need your god we need another touch uh, we need another move god uh, we need another word god uh, we need your blessing god uh, we need your anointing in about shire so we welcome you so we give you praise uh, so we give you honor uh, so we worship your name come on somebody in the room i'm gonna move on in a moment but i need somebody hallelujah to open up your mouth i need somebody hey god i'm not in any rush to preach i'm not in any rush glory to god i'm in a rush to praise him i'm not in a rush glory to god amen praise god just to let my voice be heard but i come to praise him i come to worship him because god can do the exceedingly if you worship him uh, like blind Bartimaeus, uh, you will stop him. Glory to God, uh, right in his track. Uh, if you worship him, uh, hallelujah. Uh, if you worship him, uh, he will stop. Uh, if you worship him, uh, he will come by your house. Uh, if you worship him, he will heal your body. If you worship him, uh, hallelujah, glory will fall. If you come on, somebody. I know somebody probably don't want to get the devil mad on this morning, but. If you hold a bashada la basso, Namando Ria Sataya, Bako Shataya. Oh God, I love you. Et have a shandel, be a soul. Yet of a cosandria sotaya. Oh Rabba Sikende of Oshaya. Oh Makati and the Oshaya. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. We welcome you. Hey, if you come, God, we'll get a word. If you come, God, we will be healed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. You. 
about you. Oh, oh God, grab a hold of our worship. Oh God, Adam Oshaya, tabernacle with us. Come on, Zion. about how the 
Lord may feel right now. I don't know if you can think about how he feels right now. That you have got up this morning. And God knows some of you probably going through hell and high water. But in spite of what you're going through, you have made it up in your mind. And for God I live and for God I die. You have made it up in your mind that I'm going to press in my worship. And as we're getting ready to pray, I want to tell somebody this morning. And if God cannot do it, and if God cannot fix it, that if God cannot solve it, that if God cannot work it out, then it does not exist. So as we enter Hilo Shanda into prayer, I want you to go in with faith. I want you to go in believing that he really is the God that can do exceedingly. I don't know what it is this morning that is before you. I don't know what it is this morning that you're facing. I don't know what it is today that is coming towards you. But I do know this. Hallelujah. That God is a prior answering God. I do know this. That his ears is not too heavy. That he can't hear you. So Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come before your presence. Father we know no other God but you. You are the I am that I am. You are the everlasting Father. Oh, Abashiah. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the Lily of the Valley. Our bridge over troubled water. There's no limit, no boundaries, my God, to where you can go. You're omnipresent, omni, oh God, omnipotent God. Oh God, you're the aim and infinite God. And God, we exalt your name. And now God, as your people come before your presence, we cast down, oh God, everything. We shout hallelujah. Ha, God, we have give you glory and we have give you praise. Because your word said, enter into your gates with thanksgiving and enter into your courts with praise and your word told us to be thankful unto you hallelujah so God we bless you and now God as we come oh God we open up our hearts we open our mind we open our spirit search us oh God almighty Oh God, search us, search us, search us, search us, search us, search us. Wherever we fall short, mata laba siande. God, wherever we have sinned, God, hallelujah. Wherever we have gone wrong this morning, God. Wherever we have fought short this morning, God. Father, we have sinned against you, Lord, in words, in deeds, in thoughts, mighty God. Lord, we ask you this morning to have mercy. My God, extend mercy. Extend mercy. Extend mercy. Extend mercy. Oh, God. God, extend mercy, God, towards us this morning. My God, come on, Zion. I need y'all to pray. Lord, God, I ask you now, Jesus, uh, my God, to wash us uh, over again in your blood. God, I ask you, Lord Jesus, this morning, my God, to sanctify us holy. Come on, Zion, pray with me. I ask you, God, to saturate us, uh, my God, in the blood of Jesus this morning. God, let our prayer come up before you as an incense. My my God, let it rise before you as a sweet smelling Savior. Lord God Almighty, sanctify our lips. My God, sanctify our heart. My God, wash us again. Hallelujah in your blood. God, renew our mind. God, renew our heart. Horashataya. God, renew our spirit this morning. My God, we ask you to draw us nearer to you this morning. God, we, we ask you God to keep your hands oh God upon us this morning father we can't do it oh God by ourselves oh God we can't make it oh God on our own so God we come this morning and we present our bodies oh Rashataya as a living sacrifice my God unto you this morning father in the name of Jesus I ask you God hallelujah to take full control my God this morning I ask you Lord God to sit my God upon us this morning I ask you God Almighty to release the power of the Holy Ghost in this prior room my God in the name of 
Jesus. I ask you, God, to have your way. I ask you, God, to heal. I ask you, God, to deliver. My God, this morning, I'm asking you, Lord God, open up, oh God. Open up the portals of heaven. Open up now, God. Open up the portals of heaven this morning. Open it up, God Almighty. Release, my God, your anointing. Release your power. Release your blood. Release your Holy Ghost. Oh God, this morning, sit on us. Oh God, this morning, have your way. Oh God, this morning, touch us. Oh God, this morning, revive us. Oh God, this morning, restore us. Oh God, this morning, refresh us. Oh God, this morning, we welcome you. God, walk in our room. God, walk in our house. My God, leave no room. My God, empty up your presence. Invade, oh Shia. Invade, mighty God. Yahweh. My God, Emmanuel. Invade our home. Invade our body. Oh God, this morning, take over. We give you permission. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. In the name of Jesus, come like the wind. Come like the rain. Come like the fire. Oh God, take over. Send your wind. In the name of Jesus, my God, somebody. In the prayer room, need you. My God, this morning, clear the atmosphere. My God, this morning, clear the atmosphere and the stratosphere. My God, our territory. My God, our community. We got up this morning and we pray, God, that you release your angels on divine assignment concerning our life. My God, this morning, we ask you, Jesus, to fight our battles. Oh God, for us this morning, for the songwriter said, I must have Horashiah, the Savior with me. For I dare not walk alone. Father, we need you. We need your presence. We need your power. We need your healing. Oh God, I'm asking you to cancel out every diabolical, my God, rulings. Every diabolical, my God, decision. Every diabolical assignment, assassination, my God, that was sent out. Oh God, against us, against our children, against our spouse. Mighty God from Zion, break down. Or a Shunday, every idol. My God, this morning, a Kato Shunday, my God, cast out every false this morning. Lord God. Send your power, send the Holy Ghost fire, burn and destroy, my God, every platter, my God, burn and destroy, every weapon, oh God, that the enemy has formed against us, Lord, I beg you, destroy the devourer, my God, even for your name's sake, my God, in the name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, I pray this morning, oh God, if there be any that is sick on the line, oh right, Hey God Almighty, if there be any this morning that comes in the room, oh God, that is sick, oh God, in their body, Lord God, I'm asking you, Jesus, strong deliverer, your hands, oh God, I feel you, it's not too short, oh God, to deliver, oh God, this morning, your hands are not too short, oh God, to heal your word declare my God that is by your stripes oh God that we are healed Lord God Almighty somebody or Shandy in the robe of oh God somebody in the room need you somebody need another touch oh God somebody I need you to eradicate oh God to terminate oh God that pain oh God that sickness Oh God, that cancer, oh God, in their body, oh God, somebody need a great physician to perform surgery, my God, and cut out that tumor, Lord God, somebody, oh Ravashanda, need you to replace their sickle cell, Lord God, grant them, reach it, new cells, my God, let the blood of Jesus, a lot of Oshande, come on, people of God, pray. Let the blood, oh Shataya, let the blood of Jesus.
Jesus. Run through the vein of your people this morning. Let your blood oh God, circulate in our bodies this morning. Let your blood clean out our kidneys. Oh God, this morning, Lord God Almighty, let your blood cover our organs, cover our lungs. Oh God, this morning, we ask you now oh my Sunday for your divine protection oh God we're living in a time Lord where we don't even know God where we're safe we're in a time God where we're not even safe in our own home oh God we're in a time oh God we're sickness my God this sickness is killing my tosha God every one of your people it's not partial my God, it's taking out the young and the whole. It's taking out, oh God, the save and the unsaved. But Jesus, somebody, I need you to release the name of Jesus. Oh God, over this land, Jesus. Somebody needs to call him, oh Shataya. Call him like you never did so. Oh Jesus, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh God. God, uh, Jesus, Jesus, uh, come Lord, uh, send help, uh, oh God, our land need healing, uh, oh God, send help, uh, oh God, our nations, uh, my God, need healing, uh, mercy God, uh, upon us again, uh, for your word declare, uh, that if my people, oh Shanda, uh, who are called on my name, uh, Lord, you said, Lord, uh, if we humble our own shetaya, uh, humble ourselves, God, uh, if we repent, oh God, if we turn, God Almighty, and seek you, Lord, uh, oh Jesus, uh, your word said, uh, you will hear, God, uh, open up your ears, uh, be attentive, uh, oh God, to our cry, uh, be attentive, uh, oh God, to our word, uh, oh yeah, no, 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 Shanda, I dare the church to pray this morning, uh, oh God Almighty, uh, come on mothers, uh, come on Zion, uh, God, we need you, Jesus. Protect us, Lord God Almighty. As we go through the day, Lord, cover us under the blood. Lord Jesus, I feel the Holy Ghost. Cover us, cover us, God. Hide us under your blood. Hide us from the corona. Hide us from the Delta virus and every other virus, God. There are other Oh God, hide us, hide our lungs, my God, from this, oh God, python, Lord God, demon, that come to suck the very air that you have released, that come to drain the very rock of God out of our body. We plead the blood, we plead the blood of Jesus against this evil that is on our land. Shanda, we pray and we know you can deliver. We pray, God, for we know you're a prayer answering God. Help us, Lord. Help us. Somebody say help, Lord. Oh God Almighty, Koto Shataya Bahande. Somebody say help, Lord. Somebody say help, Lord. Help us, God. Bring us out of this. For you are able. Bring us through this. For you can do it. Lord God, remember. My God, our children. Lord God, I told Shanda. How can I pray and not pray for them? Lord, cover them. They're going out to school, God. Oh, God. Hilo Shanda. My God. Please. We understand the only way that they're exempt from this virus. We understand the only way that they're exempt from this evil that is in the land is by being covered under the blood of Jesus. So we give them to you. We put them in your hand. Oh God Almighty, we ask you, God, to cover them under the blood. Cover Samaya. Cover Israel Palmer. Yes, God, as I send them in the classroom, I cannot go there, God, but I know that if I pray, God, that you will send your spirit with them. I know that if I ask God, you will answer. I know that 
this morning when I knock on the door, you will open. I believe that you're a prior answering God. So I send them in the class with the blood of Jesus all over them. I send them in the room with the blood covering their lungs, covering their nostrils, covering their eyes, covering their mouth, covering every entrance. Rata Basaya. And I plead the blood of Jesus against every satanic attack. Yes, God, where they come through the teacher, where they come through another student. I send them with the blood of Jesus to seal them. Lord God Almighty, I give you access to them. Let the angel come on, people of God, pray for your children. Let the angel of God encamp round about them. Yes, God, I sign over the power of attorney to you concerning my babies. I put them in your hands, but I know, God, that it is in your hands that they're kept this morning. But you cannot lose any Radabashanda that is in your hands. I come against God, every demonic activity, Lord God, every assignment of the enemy. Oh God, that was launched out even before we got up to pray this morning. The enemy is already on work, but paralyzed. Radabashanda, stop the enemy like you stop them, God. Like you stop Pharaoh chariots with the fire. Shadamahoshande. Mama Masila Batori and Dadahaya. Kutayan Debe Sila Mandeya. Horadadadadadaba Sikoto Shataya. Yadaba Ishkatamandi Osaya. Yadaba Ushkatandu Riyadaba So. Iba Shatala Mande. I pray this morning, God Almighty. A girl us this morning. Hayadabo Shanda. Put on us, oh God. Somebody help me pray. Put on us, God, and the the helmet of salvation. Put on us, Jesus, the breastplate of righteousness. Put on us, Jesus, the shield of fate. My God, to quench these fiery darts. Oh God of the wicked this morning. Give us Horia Shandela Bahaya. We stand with the sword of the spirit and we decree and declare that no weapon, no, no shataya maya. That form against us today, they shall not prosper, they shall not take root, they shall not come to pass. Oh God, that which the enemy said to Tatadaya Baha, oh God, to destroy us, go back to the sender, go back to the witch, go back, Kusha Yalaha, go back to the warlock with fire. Double Hoshande, I pray for the fire of God, like Elijah call it down. I call for the fire of God. I call for the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lord God, stand before us. My Shataya, your word declare God that when the enemy higher, higher, higher to shatter, come in upon us like a blood. Your spirit, oh God. We lift up a standard. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lift up, oh God Almighty. Lift up, Ushaya. Lift up, Holy Spirit of God. A standard against the enemy that rises against us. Lift up, oh Shada Mahaya. A standard, Jesus, against the enemy that has talked about us. That has shunned Break down the spirit of Jezebel. Radabashanda. Destroy Yatabashaya. Oh God, the work of the wicked. Lord God Almighty. My God, every python spirit. Every marine spirit. Every cane spirit. Every Sambalat and Tobiah. Lord God Almighty. Oh God Almighty. I pray for every marriage. Lord God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I pray for every marriage. Lord God. God that is under attack. Oh God, I pray. Oh God, against deception. Oh, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood of Jesus. My God, I pray for your preservation. Lord God, in marriages this morning, I pray that your unity. My God, oh, love us. Jesus, I pray for your people. Oh God, that is in the room this morning. 
Lord God, you know their needs. You know their desire. Lord God, you told us to acknowledge you in all our ways. And you will direct our path. Oh God, as we acknowledge you. Oh God, as we got up to pray. Oh God, oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh God, remember your people this morning. Lord, you told me to get up and to pray. Oh God, you have assigned me for this purpose and for this hour, God. So I pray that you, God, in the have your way, God. Have your way, God. Oh God, Ila Bandi Asina Bashaya. Oh, she Baba 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 see. Ha God. Woo! Ha ha ha. Ha God. Oh God, oh God. Yes, I tap a shot higher. No, 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 Yeah, God. He know, Shanda. Yeah, God. Oh, God Almighty. He know, Baba, Baba, Sita, da, 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 Bahaya. Yeah, da, 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 yeah, da, 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 Sika, ta, da, 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 Bahaya. He know, da, da, yeah, no, Shaya, da, ba, Sika, da, ya. God, oh, God. Somebody's desperate in the room. Oh, God, somebody's desperate. Oh, God, they got up because they're desperate. Oh, God, they enter because they're desperate. Oh, God, somebody need you. Da, da, ba, Shaya. I pray for our presidential system. I pray, my God, for the White House and the Sikadaya. Our president in the White House, Ida Boshataya. Prime Minister in the Bosha in Jamaica. The England in Okota, the Queen in Ekuta, Siba, da 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 do, se, debe, eh, Zamburianda, de de aso, baba basa, Zubarianda, de basse, de biashata, Ushkadabianda, si. I petition you, God, and the Oshanda. Oh, God, come, 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 Jesus. Uh, oh, God, if you don't help us, uh, Oh God, if you don't help us, if you don't do something, ando do do bo shaya, na 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 masi. Oh God, if you don't do it, if you don't stop it, oh shaba do do di asoba ish de di anda. Oh, I feel the bo si kana bahaya. Have your way. Come on, Zion, tell him, have your way. Come on, somebody, tell him, have your way. Come on, Zion, tell him, move, God. Move by your power, O the Ashanda. Move by your spirit, O God. Move by your will, O God. Can somebody tell him, have your way. Can somebody say, God, your kingdom come. Somebody say, Katuniado, Rabba Shata, Ilamande. Oh, Rabasi Kataya. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Somebody need you. Oh, God. I need you. I need you. I need you, God. I'm not independent without you. Help me, Lord. Under the Osha. Preserve me, oh, God. For in thee, Lord, do I put my trust. Oh, God. Oh, God, I've entered. I'm not leaving out of your presence. Oh, God, the way I came. I'm not leaving, God. Oh, all of a Sunday, I need another touch. I need another anointing. I need another outpouring. My eye, yeah, yeah, yeah. My storage is empty. Oh God, my storage. Usha Monday, my storage is empty. So God, fill me up. Oh, fill me up. Oh, my storage. Usha Monday, my Monday, my storage. Oh, God, only goes. My storage is empty. I need a refilling. I need a pouring. Pour it out. Pour in me, Lord. I don't know what Shanda. I open up my soul. I open up my spirit to Jesus. Oh, God. Pour in us. Oh, God. Oh, Shataya. Hila Mandi is here. Oh, oh God. Pour it out, Lord. Pour in us, God. If you pour, then it will be well. If you pour, it is well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Come on, Zion. And da 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 he and da 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 basiya. Oh, la ba ba basiya, da da basi kataya. It is well, God. It is well with my soul. It is well. Yes, God. It is well. I ashanda. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Satamandeya. Not my will, O God. Not my will, O God. Hallelujah. How God is in this room. The Spirit of God is in Kataya Shanti Libye. Is in the room. Chata Basi. And you can touch him this morning. He's in the room. Isaiah chapter 3. thy servant here in thee. Say what you want me to say. Do what you want me to do. Isaiah chapter 3. Exodus chapter 14. Katabashane. Arribas. Ah, shate. Ah, basila mahandi. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. He's in the room. He's in the room. I need every. I need every person on the line. I need every person on the line to share the anointing. Share the anointing. Share the anointing. <laughs> share the anointing. Somebody need this word. Exodus chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 13. Speak, Lord. Cover your people. Cover. Cover them. Cover them. Cover them. Seal them. Anoint us. Revive us. Refresh us. Restore us. Regenerate. Horia basata. Feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. Anybody feel him? Anybody feel him? Anybody feel him? I need you please to share Exodus chapter 14 and Isaiah <laughs> chapter 3. Of anointing. Oh, Jesus, 
we worship you. Oh, Jesus, we give you glory. Oh, Jesus, we worship you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, help somebody on the line. Oh, God, help somebody that came in the room. Oh, God, this anointing, let it destroy the yokes, the yokes, the yokes, the yokes, the yokes, the yokes, the burden, the burden. Ah, God, let it shift, let it shift, let it shift, let it shift, let it destroy, let it break. Ah, the boho shanda, the Messiah. God. Glory to God. When you find the text, say, I got it. Oh, I shot. Exodus 14, Isaiah chapter 3. Have your way. Speak, Lord. Somebody tell him, speak, Lord. Somebody tell him, have your way, Jesus. God, we came in the room for you. God, we came in the room for you. God, we come in the room for you. God, we enter for you. God, we're here for you. God, we're here for you. God, we come to touch you. God, we come to praise you. God, we come to worship you. God, we come to receive from you. Open up the heavens. Open up the floodgates. Open up the heaven and speak to us. Hallelujah, Jesus. It is well. It is well. With my soul. Satire, Nana Bashaya. It is well. 
Oh God, I feel you. We, my soul, when peace like a river attended my way. Give me a moment. I'm going in the word. When sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, oh, it is well, Lord Jesus, oh, Talabashai. It is well, oh God, I talk o shana makosaya with my soul. I don't know the next verse, but it talk about something about saying and buffeting our soul. Oh, it is well, yes, Lord, it is well. We, my soul. Exodus, Kato Shaya. I don't know who needed to hear that song, but it is well. It is well. I don't know who need to hear that. <laughs> it is well. It is well. It ha ho shata. It is well. I want to read ha basu kadaya sota dadaba so shata manda. It is well. Ah, it is well. Ah, it is well. Holy Ghost, have your way, God. Ah, oh, Mashaya. It is well. It is well. Katoba Shai. Speak, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh. And Moses, verse 13, said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will shew to you today. For the Egyptian whom ye have seen today, he shall see them again no more forever. Verse 19, and the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, it is well. Oh, it is well. Hallelujah. It is well. Uh, oh, God, dry your eyes. It is well. Holy Ghost. Remove and went behind them. And the pillow of cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of the Egyptian and the camp of the Israel. And it was a cloud of darkness to them. But it gave light by night to these. So that the, uh, the one came not near the other all the night. And Moses stretched out his hand over the Red Sea. Hallelujah. And the Lord causes the sea to go back by a strong Holy Ghost. Shanda. Feel your God. And the waters were divided. Hallelujah. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon dry ground. And the waters were a wall. And them on their right hand and on the left. Glory to God. And the Egyptian pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea. Even all the Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass in the morning that which the Lord watch the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptian through the pillow of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptian and took off their chariot wheels that they drove Halilibo Sataya Masaya heavily. Oh God, and they flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighted for them against the Egyptians. Oh God, and the Lord said unto Moses, stretch out thy hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon and upon the horsemen. Hallelujah. Glory to God for time's sake. And you go to Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10. Say he to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Say he 
to the righteous that it shall be well with him for they shall eat the fruit of their doings speak Lord <laughs> I don't know who it is that the Lord is sending this word for but as I pray and as I listen to the heart of the Spirit of God as I pray and as I seek out and search out the mind of God what is he saying to his people these are the texts that came to me this morning and I want to speak again of the story of the children of Israel amen praise God there's somebody on the line there's somebody hallelujah in the room this morning pastor Bryce glory to God amen what we are looking at what we're seeing before us it's troubling us uh, what we're seeing before us is tormenting us what we're seeing before us mighty God is bringing confusion what we see before us glory to God amen it's not what we probably heard from God amen what we see before us is probably not what God promises you amen praise God so there's a a disruption in your mind there's a question in your mind amen you're troubled in your mind because you're saying God uh, this is not what you show me or this is not what you told me or God there's somebody in the room that I prayed about it amen before you made a move before you came to the decision that you came to before you made up your mind before you took the step glory to God towards it before you enter into it glory to God you did not just get up and you enter into it but you had prayed you had seek God you had talked to God about it and you asked him for his direction you had obeyed God and you said to God amen you told me that if I acknowledge you in all my ways in all my doings God that you will amen praise God order my step amen I did not just get up and make these move John because I felt like it there's somebody in the room saying God before I shifted I did pray oh there's somebody in the room that said God before I ask I did before I move before I move you have moved him and you have shifted something there's a decision that you made and you say God I did Rabba Kasaya. I did pray about it before I do it I didn't move I I, I know that I know that I heard you when I was going to do this. Uh, do I have any witness on the line? Speak Holy Ghost. Uh, I, I did do what you asked me to do. Uh, uh, glory to God. And now that I've shifted, now that I've made this move, God, it doesn't look like what you told me. It doesn't look like what I expected it to be. It doesn't look like what it started out to be. Well, I come with a word for somebody this morning. Glory to God. Uh, somebody that is discouraged somebody that is requesting in your decision uh, uh, somebody glory to God amen that is already in the midst of it oh preach Holy Ghost uh, somebody that is already in the midst of it uh, I'm not talking about somebody amen praise God that is actually going to make a step in it I'm not talking about somebody praise God that is amen praying about it I'm not talking about somebody glory to God that's in this room glory to God that is saying I want to make a decision God and I'm praying about it glory to God and I'm waiting on your answer I'm talking to somebody this morning glory to God that I've already made the decision my God I'm talking to somebody this morning that I've already made the step my God I'm talking to somebody hallelujah that already came to the conclusion and you made a step my God watch this people of God the Bible declare that the children of Israel
Israel, amen, was in Egypt. Glory to God. They were praying to God. Amen. They were crying out to God. Hallelujah. I got to pause this thing. They were crying out to God, carrying Alexander. They prayed to God. Please share the life, somebody. Amen. Praise God. I want you to share the life in obedience. Amen. This is a prophetic word that is coming. And I want you to title it, It Is Well. It Is Well. I need you to prophesy. It Is Well. I know you're in the midst, but prophesy. Listen to this. The people of God is in Egypt. Mm -hmm. This is the land that God took them into. You got to understand that the Israelite did not find themselves in a place where God did not allow them to go. And it was, it was God. It was God. Amen. Amen. No matter what it looks like, it was God that said to Abraham, he said, Abraham, I'm going to take you. Amen. I'm going to bless you. Glory to God. He said, Abraham, I'm going to make a nation out of you. Your people, glory to God, is going to go into a country and they're going to stay there and I'm going to multiply them. I'm, they're going to grow in this country and after 400 years I'm going to deliver them. I'm going to take them out of that country. God brought them into it. Uh, Lord God, God prophesied to Abraham that they're going to be growing and they're going to manifest and they're going to multiply rather in there. Uh, I want to tell somebody that the answer you got came from God. I want to tell somebody Somebody, that God allow you to get into it. I want to tell somebody that God brought you in it. Amen. Praise God. But amen. It doesn't look like God right now. My God. Because everything that could turn against you. Everything that could fight against you. Everything that could go wrong. Is going wrong. Ah, am I preaching to anybody? Glory to God. So what you're seeing physically. With your eyes. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. It's troubling you. Hey man, you're losing sleep. You're losing weight. You're losing your appetite. Oh God Almighty. And you're saying, my God, is this really you? Yes, it was God that brought Israel into Egypt. It was God that allowed them to be afflicted. Oh God, because some of you don't understand that affliction, glory to God, not every affliction is a bad one. I know the Bible said affliction won't rise a second time, but sometimes God has to allow affliction my God to happen because it is in affliction, it is in trial, it is in trouble it is in suffering it is in our taking pain but sadly or whether you want to believe it or not, it is in that John that we pull closer to God it is in that that we develop relationship with God because if some of us wasn't in affliction if some of us wasn't in the fire God know we wouldn't pray God know we wouldn't get up and rise and come and our day. God know we wouldn't praise him like we do. Please understand many times when you see people in church worshiping God and praising God like they're losing their mind. Some of them are literally standing in the midst of the fire. Oh God, glory to God. Some of them are literally standing in the trouble. Amen. Praise God. The trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Oh trouble. Trouble will make you praise God. Come on. Do I have any witness on the line? Trouble will make you pray. Trouble will make you fast. Huh? Trouble will bring you in a room alone. Huh? Amen. Praise God to seek God huh? until God do something. Huh? Oh, God knew huh? that Emo Shatadabahai, huh? he knew that Israel huh? would have cried out to him. Huh? Watch this. They were in Egypt huh? and as they cried to God, huh? watch what happened Zion. Huh? It seems real confusing. Huh? The Bible said when Moses went down there huh? because God said send him to deliver uh, the people of God. God send him to tell Pharaoh, uh, let my people go. You thought, glory to God, that when Moses got to Egypt, uh, you thought, glory to God, that the people of God would have just walked out of Egypt uh, with their head high. You thought the people of God would have just walked out of Egypt uh, with their hands lifting and dancing. Oh no, John, uh, what took place when uh, Moses got to Egypt? Uh, seemingly the fire turned up ten times hotter. My God, hallelujah, when Moses got to Egypt huh, and start to talk about 
what God said. My God, the Bible said they were afflicted more. My God, they were Ashataya, told to make bricks out of star. They did not have every equipment. They did not have every supply. My God, to build, amen, and to make the bricks. But nevertheless, they had to perform the work. Tell your person. Tell your neighbor. Tell somebody on the line today. I know you're standing in the midst of affliction, but work with what you got. I know you're standing in the midst of trouble, but work with what you got. I know you're crying. I know you're on the job and they're troubling you, but work with what you got. Prophet, what do I have left? You better know that like Paul and Silas uh, locked up in the prison. God Almighty, what they had was their prayer. What they had was their praise. What they had was their faith in God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to work what I got until God show up. I'm going to work what I got until God do it for me. But I'm not going to sit still. I'm not going to be silent. I'm not going to fold up, curl up and wrapped up in this bed. Yes, Zion, I too are face affliction. When I come on the line, I've experienced warfare, but I've refused to lay down in my bed and cover up my head with a sheet while the devil laughed at me. But if he's going to fight somebody, I'm going to put back up a fight. Yes, you may get hit, but try to show a punch as well. Oh, Zion, they thought, glory to God, that as Moses come and said, God, that I am sent me to you to deliver you. They thought it would have got better, but it got worse. They thought after one plague that the Pharaoh would let them go. They thought after five plague, oh God, the devil would let them go. But tell your neighbor, sometimes you got to go to round 10. Oh God, sometimes you got to fight. Oh, by Shandala Bahaya to get where you have to go. Israel thought it was going to be one shot. Hey God, have a son and they were going to come out. Oh God, but it took 10 plague. It took debt. My God, for Pharaoh. Hallelujah to release them out of their bondage. Oh, glory to God. And after the fact that they have endured it all and now they've gotten to a place where the Bible allow, God allowed the Pharaohs, God allowed the Egyptian, God allowed the Israelites to leave out with wealth. They leave out with many animals. They leave out, hallelujah, glory to God, with possession. And now watch this. As they're getting ready to go to where God sent them. Oh my God. The Bible said now they're going through the wilderness to get to the place where God sent them. Oh, glory to God. And as they make their entrance out, my God, to enter into something better, as they exit out of one thing and thought it was over, while they're walking through the wilderness, oh God, the fear of art stirred up inside of them. And he said, I'm going after them. I'm not going to let those Israelites leave just like that. Hallelujah. Is there anybody on the line today? You just exited out of one thing. And oh God, right away something else is coming. Oh God, right away a bad news is coming. Right away an attack is coming. Right away somebody's talking about you. Right away somebody's attacking you. Tell your neighbor, keep on moving. Because it shall be well. Tell your neighbor, keep on pressing for it shall be well oh god hallelujah so the bible tells us that as they begin to move towards their destination where god has ordained them him in a land flown with milk and honey a land where things will be prepared for them a land where amen when they go they will reap from the soil listen to this saints of god there comes the pharaoh with his chariots and his horses. Lord God Almighty. And the Bible tells us that the children of Israel have started to panic. They start to panic. They start to lose their focus. 
Tell your neighbor, don't panic. They start to panic. I'm going to tell you what caused Shatai. What happened when you start to panic? See, if you can maintain your calmness in God, there's a reason why the Bible said be still. Because when you panic, you lose focus. When you panic, the vision that God show you, the vision that God give you, the goal of the enemy is to get you off course. The goal of the enemy is to get you off track. So whatever distraction to get you off track, according to Bibiya Shaya, when a train is being driven by the captain or whomever is dri driving it, the train track, called the Bohoshaya, speak Holy Ghost. If anybody ever take a train, those of you that live in the city, there's a tunnel, oh Bashaya, speak Lord. There's a tunnel that the train goes through. <laughs> On the train, on the ground, there's a track, the train track. Oh God, hey, Kodobo Shire. A train track has two straight lines. Oh God, that curves and direct the train. In order for the train to get to its destination, it must stay on the track. It is dangerous now for the person that's driving the train, Pastor Bryce, to lose sight of the track. It is dangerous if the person that's driving the train, Brother John, loses their focus. When I was in New York, I used to go to school in the city. So I take the train and the train will go through the tunnel. Oh God Almighty, watch this. We know that the tunnel is dark. We know that there's some things that serve the tunnel. As a matter of fact, some tunnels that you go through, there are water around the tunnel. But you got to take your mind off what's around the tunnel and you got to keep your focus on what you're standing on. Oh God, so the train is driving, but the person that is navigating the train cannot lose sight if they panic because of what they know was around them if they panic because of the dark the, the darkness that is around them if they panic the chances are the train is going to get off track if the train get off track then we're bound for damage we're bound to lose a life oh god tell your neighbor do not lose sight stay on track i want to tell somebody that what has come to you this week that what has come to you last week even the very thought that the enemy has perceived or conceived in your mind is a distraction to get you off the track because if you get off the track my god is bound for damage if you get off the track you're bound to lose your life if you get off focus you can't panic now but watch this zion the bible Bible said uh, that the children of Israel uh, begin to panic. Uh, my God, as they panic, uh, the Bible said the Lord spoke to Moses. Uh, he said, tell them, number one, uh, fear not. Uh, he said, tell them, number two, stand still, focus, uh, focus, get back your focus, uh, get back your mind in the right place, uh, get back your focus, uh, for I heard the Lord said, my thoughts are not your thoughts my ways are not your ways what you see is not what i see what you perceive is not what i conceive but i know the thoughts i think for you stay on track now is not the time for you to backslide now is not the time for you to oh god lose focus stay on track somebody is depending on you to stay on track Some Somebody's depending on you to keep on praying. Somebody's depending on you to 
to keep on preaching. You are a light. Makora Shanda. He said, be still. Keep your focus. Fear not. And see the salvation of the Lord. It is well. It shall be well. Oh God, watch this. Let me slow it down for a moment. Because I got to go. Kadabahoshi under the Messiah. Ooh, I need you to tell about 50 people stay on track. I need you to tell Sister Lorna stay on track. Oh God, the distraction comes to take you off track, take you off the course. Watch this Zion, praise God. You got to be careful now because the people start to panic, Pastor Bryce, and they start to complain and they start to murmur and they start to run. I mean, they start to get scared for their life because Pharaoh and the horses and the chariots are coming. Watch what it did, pastor. Every pastor, every leader on here. Listen, you got to keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't put your eyes on the people. If you put your eyes on the people, you're going to get distracted. If you put your eyes on what you see, you're going to get distracted. Look what happened. Oh God, the Bible said now, Moses is standing at the Red Sea. Glory to God. If God said go, then God has to make a way. Oh, Moses is standing at the Red Sea now. And Moses glory to God is at a place now because the people start to panic Moses lose focus how do you know Moses lose focus <laughs> I'm going to tell you why the rod that was in Moses' hand was the hand of God. The rod that was in Moses' hand was the power of God. The rod that was in Moses' hand was something that was given to Moses by God to direct. You got to understand, yes, I know Moses had the rod because he was, I mean, leading sheep and doing that in the wilderness. But when Moses got upon the mountain, even the rod got converted. Y'all, y'all don't want to hear this. I know this don't make no sense to you. But when Moses went upon the mountain, and when he saw the burning brush, God said, take that rod and throw it down. He throw it down, it become a snake. God said, pick it up at the tail. He picked it up, it came back around. Something happened to the rod. Something happened to the stick. In the midst of it, there was a transition. There was a transaction. My God, the power of God got trans transacted into the rod. God changes the stick to a rod. God changes what Moses had into power. God changes it. Now watch this people of God. Now Moses had the rod. Went to Egypt with the rod. Went before the great Pharaoh. Throw the rod down. The rod eat up the magician snake. Oh God. Moses stretched out the rod over the sea. The water turned into blood. Moses stretched the rod in the air. There was flies and all kind of stuff that came. The rod yeah, 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 yeah. signified the power and the authority and the manifestation Manifestation of God. But watch this. When he was at the Red Sea, he had the same rod. Hold up, Ashaya. Same rod is in Moses' hand. Uh, but because of the distraction, because of the fear of the people, because somebody started to panic. Moses lost sight of what God has already done. Moses lost focus of the word that God gave him. What was the word? I'm going to bring my people into a land flowing with men milk and honey. Oh God, I come to tell somebody this morning whatever word God give you when God told you to move it was God and you don't have to go back and question him. You're losing your focus because somebody's in your ears. Oh, you're losing your focus because somebody's talking about you. Well, you better let them talk. You losing your focus because somebody say something. You're getting off track. You better stay on track tell your neighbor i will stay on track because it shall be well emma i'm not looking at the numbers emma i'm not looking at the attendance emma i'm standing on the vision that god showed me i'm standing on because elisha so 
servant didn't see the angels. Elisha, a servant didn't see the army of God until Elisha asked God to remove the things that was on his eyes. Tell God, remove the scale. Tell God, remove the distraction. Let me see what you see. Because if I don't see what you see, I may get distracted. Show me again, God. Show me the vision again. Show me again. Abaca was troubled. So Abaca said in chapter 3, he said, I'm going to wait to see what he will say unto me. Oh God Almighty, for the vision. Somebody shout vision. Somebody write vision. For the vision is for an appointed time. And when it comes, it will not tarry. I come to tell somebody, Lord God, that when your day come, it may be today. It It will not tarry. I don't care what they say. I don't care what you're seeing in the natural. There is more for you than them that are against you. There is more standing with you than them that walk away from you. Stand still. Stay on track. Stay the course. Do what God tell you to do. Be encouraged. Put on your robe. Preach like it's your last sermon. Put on your prayer garment. Intercede like it's your last prayer. The vision must come to pass. I'm preaching too hard. Let me sit down. I'm preaching like I'm in a stadium. Oh, Koshata. Head of a Hoshaya. Moses. I, I, I got to talk to you. Maybe this word is for one person. Moses. Forget. The same rod. That he lift up and use. Was the same rod. In his hand. He forgot the power of God. He forgot that God did it before. And that God can do it again. So Moses allow the noise around him the shout the beating hey 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 come on wake up wake up wake up wake up wake up wake up show me again god show me again show me again show me again god show me again show me again god show me again, show me again, god. Show me again. Ha, ha 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 speak again god Watch this. That's what some of us telling God. But we need to be reminded. Moses forget what he had in his hand. The same God that brought you through before he changed not. God now because of the people. Moses got distracted because of the people that was around him. Because of what he was hearing. Sometimes you got to know how to get to a place where you begin to block out the voices. Block out the voices. Too many friends in your ear. Too many opinions in your ears. Ado, shidabaha. Ha, kode basaya. Too many opinions. Too many things. Ah, who should they be kataya bahai? Too many distraction, 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 distraction. God had to say to Moses, "What is in your hand?" What is in your hands? What, what is on you? What is in you? What did I told you? What was my word to you? That track. What? What did I promise you? What did I brought you out of before that I can't do it again? 
What is in your hands? Moses look in his hand and he got a flashback. Moses look in his hand and the memory, the memories. Oh, Abashaya, cut to my I, I, I want to talk to somebody. I, I want you to dig deep now. I want you to go back, Kadabosaya, in your mind. Ha, huh? don't go back in your body. Go back in your mind. Don't go back in your spirit. Go back in your mind. Go back, go back, go back. Ha, huh? you can still trace him through the uh, the past, but you can't trace him in the future. Oh, glory to God. You can trace him because of his, uh, his reference course, his reference point, but you can't trace his future. So watch this. Moses, what's in your hand? Moses took the rod and look it in his hand. Who did I say? Wait a minute. It, it, it's the same thing that eat up the snake. It's this, the same rod that Amy caused the, and the flies to come. It, it's the same rod that I put in the water that turned into blood. Moses, what is in your hand? Ah, Moses, come back to his reality. Moses, come back to what God has done. And Moses, he said, stretch it out. Use what I gave you. Never, never. Never compare yourself with nobody else. Never try to put yourself in the same category with nobody else. Never try to do what other people is doing. Just do what God tell you to do. Never try to compare yourself. Just work with what God give you. Because what God give you, what God put in you, what God put in your hand is sufficient. To take you the rest of the way. The Bible said we have this treasure now. In earth and vessel. I can't afford Pastor Bryce. To look around in everybody's view. To look around in everybody's life. Do you, let, me, let me tell you something about people. People people will get you distracted. From the will of God. People. Lord Jesus Christ. My God. People will talk you out of what God called you into. People will talk you out of what God ordained you for. People, yes. I said it. People. People will talk you out of it. You got to stop listening to so many opinions. Moses. Moses. If I touch it. If I, Sister Anthony Winter, had listened to man. I wouldn't be on here this morning. If I had listened to man, I wouldn't be going on, going on almost five years on Rising Command today. If I listen to what people say, if I listen to what I hear, saints of God, I've heard some things, mighty God, from Zion, that I had to shake my head, hallelujah, shake my mind. Oh God, shake myself out of it. What's in your hand? Use it. I gave you something. I didn't leave you empty. I didn't call you and ordain and anoint you and left you empty. I didn't tell you to go and I'm not with you. I did not tell you. Oh, glory to God. And as he sent me to Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 10, he said, Say to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat of the fruit of their doings. Ah, you shall eat of the fruit of your doings that mean your doings that mean you got to keep on doing what you're doing that mean you got to keep on doing what you got to keep on doing what God said to do no matter what it looks like no matter what your eyes can see it shall be well hallelujah glory to God and I, I, I want like some of you like the woman oh God glory to God that Elisha was staying with her after her son died oh, and she Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, glory to God. Thank you. Yes, God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. 
Thank you. Nana ma sheke de de da basaya. Uri ya de de boshata ba ya si. Haraba kasi angala ba ya. Yeba hasi kanda de de ya saya. Ah. Woo. Ba sheke de de bi anda si. Ha. You know what to do. Come on. Share back the live. Who got I'm a preach this word. Hey, Dabaha. I want you to understand glory to God. Hey, Kadabaha. I want you to share back here because not everybody's going to be able to get back in without you sharing. Uh, not everybody's going to be able to get back in without you sharing back the life. So I need every quote of see Kadabaha. I need everybody to share back the live. Ha ha. Yadaboko Shiangalabasaya. Ha. Oh, God, you're in the room. My evidence is here. Ah, I need everybody to share back the life. Share back the life. Share back the life. Share back the life. Come on. What you got to understand now, glory to God. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, the distraction. This is what I'm preaching about, the andokosa, the interruption. Uh, you got to understand, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to preach this, because uh, that's who I am. Glory to God, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to preach it. I'm, I'm going to wait a moment. Just, just get back, just to share back the live, and just come back in. Just share it back and come back in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you, because somebody on the line need this word. Somebody on the line, amen, pray. God, hallelujah. Somebody need this word. Somebody need to hear what God is saying. Somebody need this message. Somebody need to know that it shall be well. Somebody, glory to God, need to know that what you're encountering is a distraction. Somebody need to know that the interruption is a distraction. Somebody need to know that you don't stop when the enemy interrupt. Glory to God, you got to share about this. Let me finish this message. I got to finish the word. I got to finish it. Come on, come back in and share. This time for real, I need you to share and say, it shall be well. This time for real, I need you to share and say, it is well. This time for real, this is the evidence. I want you to understand, I I'm going to take even this very interruption and I'm going to use it to preach. I I'm going to even take it. I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it to preach. I need everybody to share about this. Watch this, sister. Doreen, you don't have to, glory to God, call for interruption. You don't have to call for the distraction. You don't have to go nowhere seeking it, John. Just walk right. Just live right. Just do what God said to do. Just keep on pressing and the interruption will come. You know, it's quite, it's quite interesting. Amen. Praise God that a person can come on to Facebook Live. Glory to God. Just talking off the mouth. Uh, 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 some person, it, it's quite uh, uh, interesting, amen. Praise God that some people can come onto Facebook and do their makeup. I want to preach like Jesus tell me to preach today. Somebody say, preach prophet. Ha! Huh? Somebody come on, encourage me. Say, preach prophet. It is interesting that somebody can come on, amen, to do their makeup. It's interesting that somebody can come on to talk up their mouth, amen, and their life is not interrupted. Their life is not not blocked. Their life is not limited. Their life is not attacked. To, my God, but they stay on for hours and finish your makeup. They stay on for hours and talk nonsense. But when the true preacher or the true woman and man of God come on here, we interrupt fight, Pastor Bryce. So let me use my interruption for the message. Ah, please hear me. I have my iPod here, glory to God. While I was preaching, Sister Doreen, there was an interruption. There was a break. Hallelujah. I didn't call for the break. I never asked for the Rest. I never asked for the interruption. I never asked for the distraction. But it happened. Tell your neighbor, it happened. It happened. Oh, Shataya. Because you got to understand there's two powers that are working right this hour. There's a power of God and then there's a power of Satan. There's two different spirit that is wrestling. There's two different things that are going on right away. Don't ever 
think that the enemy is going to just sit back uh, and let you get your blessing. Huh? This is why I need some fighters. Uh, this is why I need some people that is determined. This is why I need some people on my team uh, that is determined uh, that I won't be distracted, uh, that I won't aim and watch the interruption. Now, Pastor Bryce, I'm in this message and it's getting better. And in the midst of it, there was an interruption. I went back on the same computer. Hey, can I she and I, huh? and I hit back the button, amen, expecting to see the button that says live, so I can go live, I hit it a few times, but it will not show me back that button, it's trying to block my access, but thanks be to God, I had another computer in here, so I hit that one, ha, huh? I hit that one, watch this, the computer that you see me on right now, is not the one that I'm actually started out on, I need every person to share this life, double up on your shear because God is getting ready to do something. Ha, ah, Sister Doreen, I had to change the iPod because I couldn't find that the live button on the one I started out on. Ha, ah, so I had to shift. Ooh, I had to shift and go over to this other iPod so I can finish my message. Tell your neighbor huh, that when the enemy show the blow at you, that when he show the destruction at you, that when he throw, amen, trials at you, that when he throw him in sickness on you, that when he throw you off court, by shatter, try to throw you off course, you gotta know how to switch up on that devil, you gotta know how to switch up, glory to God, pull your next card, if you can't pray, uh, yeah. pull your worship, uh, if you can't worship, pull your songs, if you can't sing song, pull the scripture, but don't give up, don't quit, don't stop, uh, I come to tell the devil this morning, it is well, uh, and the person that comes to hear this word, whatever turmoil you're in, whatever fire you're in, whatever trouble you're in, whatever the devil threats you, shift on him, glory to God, it is well, uh, it is well, you can't stop me. Oh God Almighty, tell the devil I will keep on pressing. I will keep on pushing. Because I hear God said, when he interrupt you, learn how to switch. When you can't pray, learn how to praise. When you can't praise, learn how to read the word. Switch it up on him. Oh, whoosh. Say he to the righteous that it shall be well with him. Say to the righteous. It shall be well. Distraction, it shall be well. Interruption, it shall be well. Warfare, it shall be well. Trouble on every side, it shall be well. Y'all don't know the warfare that I go through. This thing may look easy, but it ain't easy. This thing may look like anybody can do it, but it ain't easy. Oh, katababababa, kashia da robo saya. Moses is standing between a rock and a hard place. The fire of God shifted. Tell your neighbor, shift. The fire of God, kashia da basi, shifted. Oh, la bashaya. And went from before the Israelite and got behind them. <laughs> the fire raised up a standard against Pharaoh and his army. While Moses is standing before the Red Sea. Trying to figure out what in the world should I do now? Somebody standing before the Red Sea this morning. Oh, the Messiah. Somebody standing before the Red Sea. And I don't know what your Red Sea. I don't Somebody standing between a rock and a hard place. 
somebody standing behind before the Red Sea this morning and you say, God, should I move? God, should I go back? God, should I go back? Why in the world would you want to go back now? Why in the world would you want to ship back now? God said, go forward. The word said, be not afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Why do you want to go back? Somebody in the room this morning, you're standing before the Red see and it looks impossible you're standing before the red sea and it looks like you can't go over you're standing before the red sea and it looks dead you're standing before the red sea and it looks like you're not gonna move you're standing before a red sea a decision is standing before you a war is standing before you principality is standing before you trouble is standing before you what should I do God took the fire went behind Israel while Israel standing trying to make a decision and in the meantime God is still talking to Israel God is still talking to Pharaoh watch this this is the hand of God watch it Pastor Bryce the hand of God is like this he has the fire there blocking the enemy you're worrying about the enemy standing before the Red Sea and God said Moses listen I'm still holding them back oh God I'm still holding them back did you think you lost this long did you think you get to this place this long? Do you think you're still standing? Do you think you're still in your right mind? Because you did it. Oh no Zion. Oh no, I'm keeping them back. So you can get it together. I'm keeping them back. So you can remember my word. I'm keeping them back. Oh God Almighty, I'm keeping them back. Oh God, so you can get to your breakthrough. I'm keeping them out of Shataya. He's keeping the Egyptian back. While Moses is at the Red Sea trying to come to a decision. What does God say to you? Oh God. I'm preaching hard. I'm preaching real hard this morning. I'm going real hard for somebody. Sister Amarie, if you're on, she would tell me every time she see me, she said, you preach so hard like you're in a stadium. You preach so hard. Can I tell you why? Somebody life depend on this. Can I tell you what? Thank you, Sister Shine. I'm going to pin this because you posted. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I got to keep on doing it. I'm going to tell you why. I gotta keep, I'm going to tell you why I keep showing up. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that I didn't get tired. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that I haven't cried. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that I haven't got frustrated. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that I've never questioned God before. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that I've never go weary. I just won't faint. I refuse to faint. For the Bible said, be not weary in well doing. For you shall reap if you faint not. See, see, you will get weary. The Bible said, be not weary. That means you can get weary. The Bible said, be not weary because you can get frustrated. But God said, I didn't bring you this far to leave you now. I'm holding them back. I'm keeping you in your right mind. You should have and could have lost your mind. But I'm the one that's still keeping you. Now, Moses, what's in your hand? I'm keeping them back, but I also gave you something to work with. I'm keeping them back, but I always I also anoint you. I'm keeping them back, but I already called you, called you and ordained you. I'm keeping them back, but I've already given you the word. Stretch out your rod. Moses, lift up the rod. The same rod. Lift it up. And stretch it out. Over the impossibility. Oh God, stretch it out. Over the impossible. I know you don't have a physical rod in your hand. Is there anybody on the line that have a Bible? Anybody own a Bible? Anybody own a Bible? Anybody own a Bible? 
Anybody own a Bible? Yeah? All right. This is your rod. Take your rod. Take your rod, Teresa. Take your rod. Take it. Go to the book of Isaiah. Fifty-four. Take your rod, Stacy. Go to Isaiah chapter three. Now, there's two times that God told that Moses used the rod. One of the time Moses had the rod, and God said, "Speak to the rock." See, there's a time when God will tell you stretch out the rock, and there's a time when God will tell you there's a time when God will tell you stretch out the rod, but there's another time He'll tell you speak. So watch this. I want you to get your rod. And we're going to speak. We're going to speak. <laughs> today. Today. There's some enemy. There's some giants. There's some interruption. But God says, say to the righteous. Isaiah 3 verse 10, speak. He said, say, that means speak. Release the word. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word. He said, speak now. He said, say to the righteous, you're doing well? Say to the people that are trying everything in their power to stand right before me, to obey me. Somebody said, whoa, I am asking for my rod and I had it the whole time. I love that. You have it. Say, Stacy, speak those things. That are not as though they were. Speak it. Say to the righteous that it shall be well with him. See, it wasn't my time yet to get cut off. It wasn't my exit time yet to come off the live. But I got interrupted. And because it wasn't my time yet to exit. I found a way. And I got back on. And even if everybody that was on didn't come on, I am on and I'm going on. I, I feel like repeat that. That sounds good to me. It was not 7.30, my normal time that I exit my life. I have not done my declaration yet. I told Shia, I'm not covered everything under the blood yet. Huh? It wasn't my exit time. Some of you exit off and you're on the highway, you're on the freeway and you exit before you reach your destination. Well, I tell you now, you better get back on that highway. You got to get back on it. You got to get back on it. You're crying, but you got to get back on it. You're in pain, but you got to get back on it. Trouble is all around you. You got to get back on there because you have not yet reached your destination. That devil is a liar. Tell the righteous. It shall be well. Why? Because Isaiah 54 verse 14 said, In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear. And from the terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together. But not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee, shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith, and bloweth the coals in the fire, that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. I have created the waster to destroy. Before you got to no weapon that form against you, God said, I created the smith. I'm the one that fanned the fire. I allow it to happen. 
Because I'm bringing forth an instrument out of you. I'm working on you. I'm working on you. And while I'm working on you, I'm working it out for you. Hmm. In righteousness, you shall be established. I am the one that control the smith. I've created it. That blow it the coals in the fire. In Jamaica, when you have coal fire, the smith. Fan the fire. Because you got a pot on the fire. You got food in the fire. And the food is not finished cook. <laughs> the food that you want to eat needs fire under it. I control. I blow it. Na 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 bahaya. I allow it. But no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. So the Israelite, God said to them, the Egyptian you see today, you're not going to see them anymore. Now, now, I don't want you to get it twisted now because I'm not telling you that you're not going to face some enemies anymore. Because as long as you're walking with me, God, you're going to face some enemies. Uh, you're going to encounter some warfare. But, but I'm telling you, this thing that you've been dealing with, this enemy by name, you're not going to deal with them anymore. I'm going to get rid of them. Now, God didn't tell them how they weren't going to see the enemy no more. He just said, you're not going to see them no more. That's my word. So what happened, people of God, is simply this. Has Moses stretched out the rod? The it shall be well become it is well. Moses stretched out the rod and the Red Sea parted. The Israelite now walk on foot through the sea on dry ground. And God, after they got through it, the same rod, Moses said, no weapon form against us shall prosper and the same rod power of God the hand of God causes the sea to get back together while the Egyptians are in the midst of the sea because the enemy think he can do what you do and the enemy think he can do what God allow you to do. So the enemy, the Egyptians, begin to walk on the ground that they weren't authorized to walk on. Bible says, the song says, some through the fire, some through the flood, but all through the blood. That's right, Pastor Palmer. What you are able to walk through, the enemy won't able to walk through. They thought they were authorized to walk because the Israelite walk on it. You have not gone through what I've gone through. You have not come through what I've caught. I, I told people, I said, amen. People look at age as wisdom. But wisdom come through experiences experiences that have been overcome some people go through a lot but never overcome anything 
Some people go through a lot, but never, amen, got the victory over anything. But until you get the victory over it, you won't have enough experience or wisdom. So the Israelite, the Egyptian, start to walk in the water. And they weren't even authorized to do that. And God shut up the water. And the enemy that they saw, God said, you see them no more. It is well. I'm finished preaching. Oh, God Almighty. There are some giants. There are some Egyptians. You know what I consider giants? I'm not just looking at the status of Goliath. They, this ain't about Goliath. There's some people, oh, Katoshaya, that have authority over you. There's some Egyptians that have been troubling you. And God said to tell is the righteous, it shall be well. 
I don't know. I can't preach another word to you. So I don't know what the giant or who the giant is in your life. But I come to declare this over your victory. It is. It is well. It is well. God has gone on before you. without praying for you I pray for you already <coughs> but I'm going to pray for your seed in a moment but before I do I want to close out this uh, I needed the word you send it through your vessel thank you God I want you to understand this, people of God. I don't have any notes. I do not have any thing that's directing me to read off a screen. What I come with this morning is a rhema from God. I take no glory that I preach this message to you because I'm that good. Nah. While I was praying out as I worship and pray, God releases the word to me because somebody came in the room to hear this word. It shall be well. Some of you, before you get to work, it shall be well. Some of you before the week end, it shall be well. And as I sit under this anointing of God, I stand upon the word that God give me today. And I tell you that God give me this word, it shall be well. Tell the righteous, say to the righteous, it shall be well. You have encountered some things and you have looked and see, believe me, I myself are looking, is looking on things right now that is not what I believe God wants to fully be for me, but I got to see beyond my natural eyes. And every giant that's risen against you, those Israelites never encountered the Egyptian again. 
And I don't know who you are that is ready for God to shift you divinely into a place where the enemy that plagues you, that trouble you, the giants that come to take you out, the thing that come to take you out, the sickness that come to take you out. I don't know who you are, but I know that I stand assured that God releases this word to me to let you know it shall be well. And I know God said it shall be well, but I want to go, amen, above and beyond. And I want to say it is well. My it is well is not changing the word of God that said it shall be well. But the Bible said faith cometh by hearing and by hearing the word of God and what I'm doing this moment is I'm extending my faith upon the word that God says that it shall be well does not change but I'm upon the confession of my mouth my faith my faith in God not what I see not what I see Teresa not what I see my vision will not die my vision will not go under I stand upon the word of God to declare right now I don't know about you you cannot declare it if you want it but I'm gonna stand and I'm gonna speak it it is well it is well because my faith is taking me beyond the shelter it is well and I want to pray for those of you glory to God that I've already sold into this word amen because something nods you something bids you amen praise God and I dare to say the Holy Spirit amen bid you glory to God to sow into the word so father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth oh Abashiah I've already prayed for the people but God for the seed my God somebody have heard your word and somebody have extended out their faith and and they have sold God into the word that is released this morning they say mighty God I'm not just gonna hear the word amen praise God but I'm gonna act upon the word because faith without works is dead and God they have decided in their mind in their conscious mind my God in their spiritual mind somebody have come to a place where they said this word is for me and this word is from God and I'm gonna seed into this word I'm gonna activate my faith oh glory to God I'm gonna activate my faith on this morning God and I'm gonna seed into this word I pray God in the name of Jesus for the seed oh God this hour this moment the transaction my God I pray for a transaction my God in the name of Jesus a transaction in the spirit that which they give oh God tangible that which they have so tangible my God into the ground into the word oh God Shanda, the same anointing that is on me to release this word. I release the same anointing, my God, over the seed, my God, that has been planted on this morning. I decree and declare, I speak over their seed, my God, that they have released, mighty God, in this word. I speak that the seed will not return back void. I speak that the seed will return back with the victory. Up, up. God, I will speak that the seed will return back with the it is well. On this Kudabashanda the Messiah. Woo! Sarava Oh my God, what an anointing. Jesus, mighty God. I feel God. I feel God. It's that I assume to feel God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Those of you that I've sold. Good morning, Nigerian. <sighs> Thank you, God. My time is up. I've given you the word.
I was teaching on my covenant partner line. <coughs> I was teaching on my covenant partner line uh, last night. Let me share this with you all before you go. Last night I was teaching my covenant partners. Uh, I teach in my Bible class with my covenant partners on Thursday night at 730 and last night I was teaching and in the midst of teaching I said to them do you want your pay now or you want your pay later and I said to them when I preach and minister and somebody kushataya sow a seed that's not my paycheck because Galatians chapter 5 teaches us that whatever a man sow, he shall reap. And God have a way of converting what you sow and multiplying it. But he's going to reward me for what I do. Every morning I come on here to encourage you or to pray for you as a vessel that God, God has sent me to do what I do. I can't do this for money. I can't do this because my reward has to come back with him. Revelation 22 or 23 says, I am coming back and my reward is with me to pay every man according to his work. And I told them, my pay what he has ordained me to do. Many don't understand why I do what I do and how I do what I do and why I give so much in what I do. Because I know that after this, the reward is coming in his hand to pay me according to my work. Nevertheless, whatever a man sow, he shall reap. And God says, if you bless a prophet, a prophet's reward you shall get. So as a prophet that preaches the undiluted, uncompromising rhema, not knowing what you're going through, but will speak a word that will speak instantaneously to your situation because God knows you. You cannot lose. So I pray for the blessings of the Lord upon you. I don't preach for seed. I don't pray for seed. God is too big. God is. Huh. I don't know about you, but this word today can only be God. God bless you, people of God. God keep you. God let a bush shine. Let his face. Don't worry about what you see. It is well. It is well. It is well. All right? And those of you that... Good God, the anointing is so... Oh! The annoying, this annoying. Those of you that are led to soul, there is an harvest in this word. There is an harvest in this word. There's an harvest in this word. There's an harvest in this word. This is not preached by accident. There's an harvest in this word. And I pray that you not only reap what you sow, but you reap abundantly. 
more than enough. More than enough. God, I seal the word. I seal your word. I seal your, the declaration. I seal this service. <clears throat> the blood of Jesus. I don't know why. Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm asking everybody to share back the life. As you know, we got cut off, but share back the life. And even if you get off the life and the Holy Spirit keep on pressing on you, the soul, obey him, okay? Because he's pressing on you. He's telling you to do it. But you're like, mm-mm. I'm not going to do it this morning. Now, I don't know which morning you're going to wait to do it. But this may be the actual morning for you to do it. So I'm going to close off the live. But if he keeps on pressing on you. To sow into this word. doing this I keep doing this thing my time is up I gotta go but even if you get off and he keeps on pressing on you just obey all right I love you all have a blessed weekend thank you for coming on and even more thank you for sharing this life preach too hard today I can still I can feel it now but I hope somebody's blessed in Jesus name as those links go up you can click the YouTube You can click the YouTube link if you're new to this page if you're new to this page I want you to hit follow follow me on my page here Prophet Sarah Palmer turn on your notification so you can know when I'm on is so heavy on me I, I, I still have to feel the release I want to get off of here but I, I still waiting I don't know somebody need a breakthrough somebody need to get out of their Egypt somebody need God to remove the Egyptians Somebody need that it is well. Just do what God tell you to do. Just obey God. I'm, I'm on here too long. I want the release. I, I want to get off. I'm trying to get off Misha. them God in Jesus name God bless you amen God bless you people of God please share the life somebody need the word 
God touch your, your mother. Don't leave this life and not do what God said to do. I don't know who you are that the Lord is bidding you to sow into the word. That the conviction, that the resting heavily on your heart. I just want to go, well, whoever you are, obey. I don't know what he wants to do for you. I don't know why he's challenging your faith. I don't know why he's pulling on you to sow this morning. And you're telling God. I'm not going to do it. Somebody on the live. I, I, I know. Don't don't stone me. Please don't stone me. Please don't stone me. Okay. But somebody on the live is telling God. No, I, I'm not going to do it this morning. I'm not going to do it this morning. I'm not going to give this morning. I'm not going to sow this morning. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to next time. I want to tell you. To seize this moment. I'm on here too long seize this moment and move and act upon what God tell you to do and release your own self <coughs> pretty, pretty tea go back and listen to the word you can press the replay when I'm finished money cried I speak divine healing to your body all right obey and do what you're supposed to do don't don't delay don't don't put it off don't do that so into the word because god is speaking to you all right receive your blessing i seal everything right now in the name of jesus god bless you all i love you remember get your consecrated oil remember get your prior shawl visit that link that website and get something all right carry and alexander divine intervention god bless you all in jesus name have a great weekend everybody <laughs>